In this problem, we have to find the area bounded by these graphs. Let's go ahead and carefully work through it. So I think absolutely the hardest part about this problem is graphing these two functions. It's not too bad, but it's pretty sneaky. So first of all, let's just think about what these functions are. So let's look at f first. So f is an exponential function. It's 7 to the x. So it looks something like this. This is 1, because if you plug in 0, you get 7 to the 0, which is 1. And if you plug in 1, which is a nice number to plug in, you get 7. That's because 7 to the 1 is 7. So f of 0 is 7 to the 0, which is 1. That's this point here. And then f of 1 is 7 to the 1, which is 7, which is here. Are these the best numbers to plug in? No. I just figured they would be easy numbers to plug in just to give us a rough idea of what the graph looks like. Let's look at g now. So g is just a straight line. And if you plug in 0, you get 1, so you're here. And coincidentally, if you plug in 1, you also get 7. So it's a line that looks like this. I don't know why I put the 7 there. I meant to put it here. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Hurrah, we have our graph. So that, that worked out really nice. You see, there's the yellow line. That's our G. So let's go ahead and draw a bigger picture. So I'll go back to my purple color for this one here. So 7 to the X looks something like this, where this Y value is 7 and this y value is 1, and this x value here is 1, because if we plug in 1, we get 7. So this is, this is f of x. And then let's use a different color for little g. How about, how about light blue? So this will be little g here. It's a straight line. This will be little g. Beautiful. Okay. So to find the area, we draw a rectangle. Because we have functions of x, we use uh, vertical rectangles. And it's just top minus bottom. So the area is going to be the definite integral. So from left to right, 0 to 1. And it's just top minus bottom. So the top function is g. So that's 6x uh, plus 1. Now this, this worked out a lot nicer than I thought it would. I thought this was going to be much harder minus and then the bottom function 7 to the x. I guess after doing some of these problems with area, you know, sometimes they end up being really tough. This one actually is quite pleasant. Wow, okay, so now we can just integrate. Really nice. So this is the power rule. So it'll be 6x squared over 2. That is a 1, so you add the number and divide. When you integrate 1, you just get x. And then when you integrate 7 to the x, you might not remember this. So if you have a to the x dx and a is positive, um, this is a to the x over the natural log of a plus c. This is a formula from the past, and it just randomly comes up in random places in math. So this is 7 to the x over the natural log of 7. All right, we have a bracket here, and we're going from 0 to, to 1. All right, we plug in the 1 first, subtract, then plug in the 0. Good stuff. Um, this is really 3, so I'm just going to put a 3 there. So plugging in 1, we get 3 times 1 squared plus 1 minus 7 to the 1 over ln 7, natural log of 7, and then minus, and now we plug in 0 for all of the x's. So the first one's going to be 0, because it's 3 times 0 squared, so, so 0, plus 0, minus 7 to the 0 over the natural log of 7. Let's keep going as much as we can. This is 3 plus 1, which is 4. So this is where I always mess up. Let's see. Um, minus 7 over the natural log of 7. Okay. This is a 1. 7 to the 0 is 1. So uh, and there's a negative here. So it'll become a plus 
1 over ln 7. Okay, we can combine this. This is this is 4 minus 6 over the natural log of 7. So that should be um, the final answer. Um, let me just get a decimal here. I, I do have a calculator here. Let's see, 4 minus 6 over the um, natural log of 7. I got 0 0.91660994458. I'm just going to put 0.917. I'm just going to do three decimals. So point nine one seven if you want all the decimals it would be it would be point nine one six six zero nine nine four five eight if you're curious uh, but if you use three decimals it's it's this so nice problem uh, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be I am very happy <laughs> with this problem so it worked out a lot nicer than a lot of the other uh, than a lot of the other area problems you know so yeah until next time take care